Hello everyone. I'm going to discuss an example on relative equilibrium of liquids for linearly accelerated vessels. So here is the problem. An open rectangular tank 2 meters wide, 1.5 meters high, and 4.5 meters long is mounted on a track that is moving on a smooth and straight flat road. It is full of water at the start. The truck moves from A to B at a constant speed of 36 km per hour, then from B to C, such that at C its speed becomes 54 km per hour when it increases its speed uniformly. And finally, from C to D, where at D it comes to a full stop when the speed is uniformly decreased. The distance between A and B is 0.5 km, between B and C, 250 meters, and between C and D, 200 meters. So determine the amount of water left in the tank when the truck reaches 1.1 point B, second question at point C, and third at point T. So for the first question, because the truck moves at a constant speed between A and B, we expect that the water surface on the tank remains horizontal, so we expect no liquid will be spilled for the first situation. So therefore, the volume left at B would be the volume of the of water in the tank, which is 4.5 times 1.5 times 2 meters. So volume left in the tank is equal to 13.5 cubic meters, and that's the answer to the first question. So Again, no liquid will be spilled for the first case. For the second situation, between B and C, the, the speed is uniformly increased. So let's compute for the acceleration between B and C. So certain amount of liquid will be spilled here. So we use the formula from physics, particularly dynamics, velocity at C square equals velocity at B square plus two times acceleration between B and C times the distance between B and Z. So that is V sub C square equals V sub B square plus two A sub X times X B C, where V sub C is where V sub B is 36 kilometers per hour divided by 3.6, the conversion factor, so that it becomes in, it will be converted to meters per second. So 36 over 3.6 is 10 meters per second, while V sub C is 54 divided by 3.6, so that would be 15 meters per second. So substitute into this equation here, 15 square, equals 10 square plus 2a sub x times 250 meters, the distance between b and c. So a sub x is equal to 0.25 meters per second square. So it is positive because the speed is uniformly increased between b and c. So therefore, the resulting surface would be in this manner here. So this is the resulting surface. The slope here is, uh, let's call it theta bc. And let's call this as y1. So this is the amount of liquid spill. This is replaced with air. And therefore, tangent theta bc is ax, the acceleration between b and c, 0.25 meters per second squared divided by g, which is 9.81. And it is also equal to y1 over 4.5 from the figure. So tangent BC, theta BC is 0.25 over 9.81. It is also equal to y1 over 4.5. So y1 is equal to 0.1147 meter. So therefore, the volume left in the tank when the truck reaches point C is original volume, which is 13.5 cubic meters minus this volume that will be expected to be spilled. And this volume is equal to one half 
of 4.5 times y1 times width perpendicular to the board which is 2 meters. So volume left at C is equal to 30.5 minus 1 half of 4.5 times 0.1147 times 2. So volume left at C is equal to 12.98 cubic meters. Then for the third question, between C and D, so the final speed is 0. So V sub D square equals V sub C square plus 2AX between C and D times XDC, XCD, where XCD is 200. So 0 square equals 15 square plus 2AX times 200. So we expect AX to be negative because it is decelerating for, for the path between C and D. So it's negative, so the resulting surface would be opposite to this. So it is inclined in this manner. And we will call this theta CD and call that Y2. So this is again replaced with air and that's theta, theta CD. So tangent theta CD is equal to AX which is 0.5625 over G9.81 equals Y2 over 4.5. So 0.5625 or 9.81 equals Y2 over 4.5. So Y sub 2 is equal to 0.258 meters. So the volume left in the tank when the truck reaches at D is original volume 13.5 minus this volume of air here, which is 1 half of 4.5 times Y2, which is 0.258. 258 times width perpendicular to the board 2 meters. So volume left at D is equal to 12.34 cubic meters. So that's all for this problem and see you for the next example.